Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and if you didn't know, I had a cool Lerpa celebration event where I revealed three exclusive transformations I made in my fashion show. And now I'm just posting each episode individually. This is my second model, Michelle, wearing the hot pink dress with the cutouts in the sleeves. Now I didn't get to explain every single step along the way because I was in such a rush to finish this for my fashion show, but I hope it's not too confusing and I'll do my best to explain all the steps in this video. So the first thing I did to the dress was remove the sleeves so I can decide what I wanted to do with the cutouts. So here I'm just seam ripping the underarm seams apart so that both pieces can open up completely. My first idea was to put the cutouts at the side seams. And then once I did that and I draped it on my model, there was this big open space that was left in the front, which meant that I had to add another piece of fabric there if I wanted to cover it up. So here you can see that I just grabbed a piece of orange scrap fabric to see what it would look like. And now I cut out a full piece out of black fabric and had her put it on. And then I was just playing with some ideas of what I wanted her outfit to look like with some muslin. The look here I was going with was going to be a triangle halter neckline. So I thought I would make a asymmetrical peplum skirt um, along the waist. But then all that changed because I went home and I started brainstorming some more and I just wasn't feeling this design I had going on. So I started sketching out some new designs and rearranging the sleeve pieces to see what it would look like. I really liked how the cutouts looked like along the waist. As you can see, the sleeves have so many markings on it because my ideas change so many times along the way. And what you wanna do in this situation is to make sure you don't cut anything yet. Use an invisible marker or a disappearing ink marker and make all the markings you need to. Pin things in place, try it on a billion times before you actually cut the fabric because once you do cut it, there's no going back. And then I kind of left the top part as it was for now because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it yet and moved on to the shorts. So I already fitted a pair of shorts on Michelle out of muslin and this is what the rest of the dress looks like and I'm kind of just figuring out how much material I'll have to work with before I actually cut out the shorts. And then I went ahead and used the bottom part of the dress for the shorts. Here you can see that I'm laying out the shorts in a way that's going to save me the most fabric. Once I figured that out, I can cut the shorts out and sew them together. With the rest of the dress that's left over on top, I decided to make a peplum to go over the romper. Once again, this took a lot of planning and brainstorming. I didn't just go ahead and cut the fabric as it was right here. I made a sample out of muslin first, and then once I was sure this was the design I wanted to stick with, then I could cut it out of the dress. So the peplum design that I had enough material to go with was a cascading peplum that would overlap in the front. When you're making a transformation, not everything is going to be in one piece. You will have to cut things in multiple pieces and sew them together so they can be one bigger piece. Now I can go back and work on the top part of the romper since I have the shorts and the peplum figured out. And what I'm doing here is just removing that bottom part of the sleeves that we no longer need. After I removed that bottom part of the sleeves, I realized that it could be turned over to the side just like how we did for the top and used to make the back side. Once I figured out how the back side of the romper was going to be arranged with the pieces that I have, I went ahead and sewed the side seams of the romper together. Now I can sew the top of the romper to the peplum and the short, leaving the center back of the shorts open for the zipper. If 
By this point, it was crunch time and I was in such a rush to finish that I didn't get to film what I did to the straps. For the straps, I took some hot pink color bias tape that was the same color as the dress, thankfully. I overlapped them so that it created a triangle cutout on each side and in that way, it also played along with the cutouts along the waist. After I overlapped the two straps, I trimmed one of them so there was only one strap going into the back side. For the back side of the romper, I took the top sides and folded it over and sewed across the top so that it created a little tunnel for me to lace the straps through and tie a bow in the back. For the back of the romper, we left the center back open like a slit and I totally forgot to add a hook and eye to cover where that opening is where you can see the zipper but that is where the zipper is and where she would get in and out of it. Here is the before and after. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Thursday Transformations. If you want to see more episodes like this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Patreon, so if you like what I do on here and want to support me, check that out. Right now we are giving free stickers to anyone who becomes a patron today. See you guys next time. Bye!